Hey everyone, Andrew here again with Total Running Productions Exclusive. And today we're going to talk about cheating. We're going to be talking about drug use in sports. Yes, it is the time to talk about steroids, performance enhancing substances, and we're going to relate these all to world records and athletics. A few days ago, Let's Run.com put up a poll to see who thought which world record was set using performance enhancing drugs versus world records that people thought were clean. These are the top tier performances in every single event over the past 30 or even 40 years. And the results, let's just say this, the results are not surprising. Here's a look at some of the top world records that people think were set using drugs. At the very top, we have the 1985 world record in the women's 400 and tied at 93% of votes. We have the 1983 world record in the women's 800 meters. This is not surprising. These are probably the two most likely world records that were set with drugs. When it came to European athletes in the early to late 1980s, drugs were just rampant. There have been many reports on illegal substances used in a big, big way during that time. So the fact that many people see these performances as broken is really not surprising. But let's go down this list record by record and see exactly what the people of Let's Run think. So at top, we have Yarmila Kratokvilova and Marita Koch. Right behind that is Flojo, who, as many people know, has held the world record in the 100 and the 200 meters since 1988. Right behind her, we have Hisham El Garouj, which is actually a little surprising given that this is the 1500 world record. It's not a sprinting event, it's a middle distance event. I would have thought that would have been more towards the 50% range, but then again, that record has now stood for over 20 years as well. Right behind Hisham El Garouj, we have the 3000 meter steeplechase record, and that is at 69%. 69% of people think that this world record was with illegal substance abuse, so. Very interesting of these top five positions, but let's work our way down. Oddly enough, right next to Shaheen is Beatrice Chipkowicz, who in the women's 3000 steeplechase received a 62% amount of votes of people who think she cheated. Next, we've got Genzeba Dababa in the women's 1500. And then we have our first marathon world record, Bridget Koske at 52%, who holds the world record at two hours, 14 minutes, and four seconds. And I feel like this part of the voting system might be a little bit biased. As many of you might know, this season, a lot of negativity has come out of the country of Kenya, as more than 60 people have been found to have used performance-enhancing drugs, and the vast majority of these individuals are endurance athletes, such as marathoners, half-marathoners. So I'm thinking this record from Bridget Koske is a little bit biased towards a selection process of people who already know about Kenyan athletics. Beyond Bridget Koske, we have Toby Amusan in the women's 100 hurdles at 46%, and this is the point when you get under the 50% of votes. So Toby Amusan at 46, Latessin Bet Gide in the 5,000 and the 10,000 meters at 40%. But then you've got Joshua Cheptegei. Again, this is interesting because you have two distance running athletes right next to each other, basically receiving the exact same amount of votes. So Cheptegei at 39%. And then, ladies and gentlemen, we have Usain Bolt at 32%. This is a huge difference from Florence Griffith Joyner, who received 91% of votes. As you might know, Flojo and Usain Bolt hold the 100 and 200 world records in their respective events, so it's very interesting at how different these numbers are here. There's also a very interesting stat about Usain Bolt. Of the top four fastest athletes in the history of men's sprinting in the 100 meters specifically, Bolt is the only athlete to never receive a doping ban. So I guess it's no surprise that it's rather low because the knowledge about his clean testing over the years is pretty high actually. Right next to Usain Bolt, we have another GOAT, and that's Elliot Kipchoge in the men's marathon, receiving 31% of votes. I found this voting number specifically interesting because we have a lot of positivity surrounding Elliot Kipchoge and we have a lot of awareness about his training. We had a full documentary made about him, an actual movie. So for a lot of people, their emotional investment in Kipchoge being clean is through the roof. Just imagine if Kipchoge was found to have been doping. The entire track and field world and distance running landscape as we know it would fall out from under our feet. There would be a huge backlash and track and field would suffer. That's just the facts. Moving on to our final five, we have David Rudisha at 27%, Aries Merritt at 27% as well, Karsten Vorholm at 26%, Wade Van Niekerk in the men's 400 meters at 24%, and the world record that currently stands with the least amount of suspicion is actually Sydney McLaughlin in the women's 400 hurdles, who only received an 18% positivity that she was using PEDs. 
I find these votes very, very interesting, and there's probably a lot of skepticism towards more world records as well during the indoor scene, and there's definitely world record skepticism when it comes to the field events, but for these specific running events, it's very interesting to see. A lot of times it's really the older world records that receive the most skepticism, and towards the newer world record sets such as McLaughlin's in 2022, Vorholm's in 2021, and even Kipchoge's world record last year in 2022, usually receive the lowest amount of skepticism. Anyways, this is very interesting to me. I think it does do a good job at showcasing where a lot of people's thoughts are surrounding world records at the moment, and it does showcase that the longer a world record sticks around, the more skepticism and uncertainty surrounds it. So anyways, I would love to know what you guys think about this. Where does your heart stand with world records that stand? Do you think any of these are truly legitimate? Do you think many of them are objectively negative? I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. Anyways guys, that's about it. See ya.